Hi guys, welcome back. Today, let's check this guy, the Surface Mouse from Microsoft. If you have checked my previous video, I have unboxed the Microsoft Surface Go and to use along with it, I got the Surface Mouse. This is the box that the mouse comes in. It's a pretty simple box with the mouse picture on the front. This thing is pretty expensive. Now the pricing on the box is 9,999 Indian rupees, but I got it from Amazon India for 4,999, which is still expensive, considering it's just a Bluetooth mouse. Now even though it's expensive, the main reason I got this one is because I don't want to fiddle around with the wireless dongle, and the Surface Go it doesn't have the USB port for that. Now for this mouse, you need two AAA batteries, and Microsoft claims that the battery life will last for 12 months. So let's not waste any time. And let's unbox it. To open the box, you need to remove these plastics on the bottom and actually there are two. Once you remove the plastic, the top portion comes off and here we have it. This box is pretty sturdy, so the mouse is well protected inside. So let's take the mouse and the first thing I notice is that it's really light and the texture it's also good. Now let me keep the mouse aside and check what are the other stuff that's inside the box. So what do you get inside? It's just the documentation. It's the warranty and the user manual, which is not that exciting. So let's keep all this aside and take the Surface Mouse. The Surface Mouse has this nice arc and surely it looks like it's ergonomically well designed. There is a grey colored Microsoft logo here and the texture of the mouse is really nice. The mouse is actually made of plastic and you won't get that premium feel, but for usage, its design is good. There is this pull tab for the battery and let me take it off. Now one cool thing here is that the battery compartment cover is magnetic. Now you just slide it up and you get access to the battery compartment. There is a slight problem with this magnetic closure, which is it can easily come off if you just leave the mouse inside your bag. But if it's kept in a table, it's gonna stay intact. There is only one button here, which is for turning it on or off and also to activate the pairing mode. And for the mouse control, you get the standard mouse layout with the scroll wheel at the center and the right click and the left click buttons. This scroll wheel, it also acts as the middle button and the scroll wheel is actually made of metal. And that's the only metal portion in the mouse. The mouse is now in pairing mode and that's why this light is blinking. So let me grab my Surface Go and let's pair it. The first thing to do here is to open the Bluetooth settings in your laptop. So since the mouse is already in pairing mode, now let me click this plus button to add a device. And here you have the option to connect a mice or a keyboard. So we have to choose that and straight away it shows the Surface Mouse. And on choosing that, it's paired. That's it. No fancy stuff or nothing like that. Once it's paired, the first thing I noticed is that the tracking is smooth. And I have to say this mouse is ergonomically really comfortable. I'm using the Logitech MX Master 2S with my Mac. And this one, it doesn't have all the bells and whistles that the MX Master series have, but surely for comfort, this one is pretty good. The accuracy while clicking and pointing is also good and everything feels smooth. So let me open a site and check how good the scrolling is. And it's working great. Now this scroll wheel is not the infinite smooth type scroll wheel, but instead this one is the resistant type, but still it's good. Now the main reason I got this mouse is because it blends well with my Surface Go. Well, both are Surface products and they match pretty well. I'm actually testing the Surface Go and my review will be out soon but spoiler alert, it's a good product. But surely you need the Surface Go keyboard. I'm waiting to order one, and then after using it together, I'll be bringing my full review. This mouse on the other hand is an optional accessory. It's not necessary to get it, but surely you need the keyboard with the Surface Go. Before we end the video, one quick thing is that there is only one button, and to turn it on, you need to press this button once, and to turn it off, similarly just press it once again. And if you want to initiate the pairing mode, just press and hold the button for 3 seconds. So my final verdict is that this mouse is really expensive and surely the price is not justifiable considering the materials used here are not premium. And surely for this price, you have much better options in the market. The main reason I got this mouse is because it blends really well with my Surface Go and even though it just has the basic functions, it's ergonomically comfortable. That's up for this video guys. Hope you liked it. If so, please do hit the like button and please do subscribe. See you again in the next video, till then, bye.